Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a, uh, a new series I'm doing every Thursday. Uh, it's going to be called Thursday's Tool Review. So basically, I'm just buying tools, uh, tools I've already owned, tools that I've used, um, some tools that I haven't used, and I will be doing a review of these tools. I'm not sponsored by any of these tools. Uh, these tool companies. I do, however, get some tools from one of the companies, um, but uh, you'll probably see them in the background. I won't really review them on this. This is going to be all tools that I've purchased and I've bought. So I have bought a couple tools from the company that does give me tools, and if you watch my other channels or my other videos, you'll, you'll know what tools I'm talking about. So this is going to be every Thursday, so make sure you guys check them all out. So I'm going to start with a video um, and keep the series going. So that's uh, what we're going to do. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we got our first first tool review uh, for whatever. I might do one, two, three, four tools. I don't know. Um, it's not really planned out right now. I got two two tools to review today. <clears throat> it's actually technically three, but it's actually only two actual tools. So, first tool is going to be this uh, digital Pittsburgh by Harbor Freight. Um, it's it's never steered me wrong. It works really good. However, it does use a lot of battery. So I've changed the battery twice in this tool. So it's pretty accurate. Um, like I said, I've had uh, some stuff made. Uh, my dad's made <clears throat> like these tapered things right here. And I've given him exact measurements, uh, standard measurements. And uh, when he made them, and he's got real high quality machinist tools, because uh, he's a machinist, he made them and they're dead on to what measurements I sent him. And, uh, yeah, so, anyway, that's going to be the first, first little tool. They're pretty cheap. You can get them for cheap. <laughs> People are driving around in the snow and two wheel drive little Honda Civics and just, uh, redlining it. Anyway, so you got an inch in fraction. You got millimeters. Um, you got, uh, inch in decimal. And you got inch and fraction again. So you got three different whatever it's called. So it is a six inch digital caliber. This one here, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Probably not. But it is a six inch digital caliper. It is part number 68304. Uh, made by Pittsburgh. Surprised that sticker's still on there. So anyways, definitely uh, if you're going to be doing any automotive repair or anything definitely pick these one of these up um, just make sure you always turn it off and then anytime you move it it turns on automatically so which kind of sucks because it's in my toolbox I don't keep the little uh, balloon case things uh, for all my tools I do for certain stuff like drill bits and stuff so anyway <clears throat> number one so a lot of my tools I pick up from Harbor Freight as you'll see a lot of tools I buy from uh, different places online. Uh, I do go to the swap meet and buy tools. So a lot of these will be just random different places. Lowe's, Sears. Um, yeah. So number two tool. And I'll have to take you guys off the stand for this. So bear with me. I probably don't have to take you off the stand. You could be the witness. There you go. It's a tap and die set. So... I have three different tap and die sets. So I have, this is the Pittsburgh 45 piece titanium nitrate uh, tap and die set. So it comes with this junk. It did have a uh, plastic piece, but anyway, uh, it basically goes from uh, six millimeter, six by 0.75, to 8 millimeter, 10, 12, 14, 16, whatever, in like a coarse or a fine thread, and then it goes into a coarse thread. 
so you got uh, it goes from 6 by 1.0 8 by 1.25 and so on um, comes with the little screwdriver right here comes with the little uh, spinny tools for the uh, for the dies um, the uh, yeah so I'm using one right now let me uh, let me go grab it real quick I'm using the 18 by 1.5 and that's because I was making an adapter for the air compressor so I needed this thread here which 18.15 was the closest I can get to this thread to make it work and it worked because I was trying to get rid of this pipe thread I guess you can call it let me grab it real quick So we got the little handle, the T-handle, and here's the tap. So I always just put that back in and then because I used it, I sprayed some brake cleaner on to clean the threads before I put them away. Um, just because I like my stuff clean. I don't like to be all dirty and a mess. So and that's where that one goes. And like I said, I don't keep these blow molded sets. I don't keep these things uh, for most tools, but stuff like this I do keep. So I also have this little tiny one right here. It's a 40 piece smaller tap and die set. Some of these taps have or uh, taps have died. Taps have broken. So like this one's broken, but this one's gotten me out of a bind a lot. Um, I've used this one a lot, however. As you can see, this piece is broke, snapped right off, you know, as I was using it. And, uh, yeah, so, it's trash, that's trash, but the functionality of it still works. Um, I believe, I think I got this one from Harbor Freight. And I have the standard one, and I write on there. You can see it inch standard and that's the top because I opened one up one time when I first got them and everything fell out so here's this one so see this is black that one was gray so that's gray it's metric it's black standard I still have a little plastic sheathing in this one I have used this one and this one has broken so I cannot spin this thing. I can take this handle off, but I can't spin this anymore. You can see it's all cross-threaded in there. Um, I've tried fixing it. Whatever, it doesn't work. And I don't know if there's a warranty on these or not. Um, I don't remember there being a warranty. Oh, 90 day warranty. I'm past my 90 days, so I end up just using the one for the metric. But this one goes, you know, you got fine thread here, quarter by 28, basically, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and then you got the coarse thread, quarter by 20, quarter 20, comes with a little screwdriver, and uh, so on and so forth. So, and these just go in the bottom of my toolbox, the bottom drawer, and uh, yeah, I thought I had a plastic sheet for this one, but I guess not. Anyway. Uh, that's going to be it for this tool review. Um, that's the two tools I wanted to review. Um, it's actually four tools, but it's just two. So all from Harbor Freight. Um, I am not sponsored by Harbor Freight in any way. Um, so caliper and tap and die sets. I've used these tap and die sets, believe it or not, a lot. Um, but yeah, so... Um, but yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this... For this uh, Thursday tool review. Um, stay tuned for the next tool review. It'll be next Thursday. And uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for commenting. Let me know what you guys want to see on this little series. If if you do want to see anything, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.